We're gonna perform two stretches, one for the hamstrings and one for the quads. I'm gonna place my left foot on the inside of my right leg. My right leg is out front, my knee is slightly bent, and my heel is slightly digging into the ground. From here, I'm dorsiflexing my feet and my ankle, so my toes are going up toward the sky. I'm gonna lean forward and try to keep my back straight and head up as I breathe into this stretch. Focusing on inhaling for four and exhaling for eight as I passively hold this position. I'm gonna hold here and then when I begin my PALS contraction, I'm gonna begin pressing the heel into the ground. I'll feel a good tension in my hamstring. That'll be my PALS isometric contraction. Right now I'm still breathing in my passive hold with my hamstring hopefully being stretched. Should be nice and relaxed and get ready to go into our PALS contraction. Again, when we go into our PALS contraction, we're gonna start pressing the heel into the ground about 10%. Start building up the intensity from 10%, from 10% to 30%. Start amping up the energy, start pressing a little bit harder into the ground. Squeeze the abs, whole body begins to irradiate, recruit muscle from around the body. We'll go from 30 to 60% intensity. Should feel a strong pull in the hamstring here. And then from here, we'll go from 60 to 100% of your maximal, greatest, and safest effort. For five, four, three, two, one. And now what we're gonna do is pull our foot up off the ground, go into our rails contraction, keep everything tight, keep your intensity high for three, two, one, keep holding it up, and then we're gonna slowly bring it down. So that would be our rails contraction. From here, just breathe passively into our newly acquired range, see how that feels, and get ready to set up for the opposite side. So after you take a couple more inhales and exhales in this stretch, we'll transition to the opposite side from here, I have my right foot on the inside of my left thigh, with my left leg out front. My knee is slightly bent, so I get more stretch in my hamstring. You don't want to feel the stretch behind the knee. That would be your sciatic nerve. That's something you don't want to stretch when you're stretching your hamstring. So you should feel a stretch in your hamstring, not your knee. So here we have our foot dorsiflex. We're beginning to breathe. Inhale for four, exhale for eight. Again, these pals and rails are one minute uh, passive, about 30 second pals, and about 15 second rails. So if you're looking for time, that's what we're going for for uh, this series of exercises. So here we are breathing passively here, leaning forward, back is straight, inhale for four, exhale for eight. Again, holding this position for about a minute before we begin our PALS contraction. Our PALS contraction, again, is when we press our heel into the ground and we'll build up uh, intensity from 10% all the way to about 30%. So slowly building up that muscle irradiation and effort intensity from 10 to 30%. From here, we'll go from 30 to 60% intensity. You should feel a good pull in your hamstring here going all the way up to 60% of your safest and greatest effort. And from 60 to 100%, we'll hold for 10 seconds, as long or as hard as you can here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rouse contraction, pull up, get the foot up, get the thigh up, get everything up as high as it'll go. High as you can go, five, four, three, hold it and slowly bring it down. And we'll go into our passive relax stretch, challenging that rouse contraction and holding it up 10 to 15 seconds, and then going into our passive hold. From here, we'll transition to our next stretch on the side lying position, targeting the quadricep here, rectus femoris, Vastus lateralis, vastus medius, vastus intermedius, t 
tissues surrounding the knee joint here. From here, we're breathing and holding. You can also do this on the stomach. If you can't reach the ankle, you can strap a towel around your hand and foot and hold. Breathe, inhale for four, exhale for eight. Again, stretching the quad here. And we, when we begin our PALS contraction, this time we're gonna to try to extend our knee in the progressive angle. And our rouse contraction, we're gonna to try to flex our knee even further, deeper into end range. So right, so right now we're in knee flexion and we're holding it, passively breathing, just trying to relax. And then during our PALS contraction, we'll slowly chart, start to extend our knee. And since there's a barrier there, you'll feel some tension in that right quad. So we're going from zero to 10%. Begin to utilize your fists, your, your abs, everything else from 10 to 30%. Should feel a lot of tension in the quad from 30 to 60% of your max intensity. And then we're going to go from 60 to 100% of your safest and greatest effort. And we're going to try to hold that for 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, and rouse contraction. Try to let go, squeeze your fist, and try to squeeze your heel to your glute. Five, four, actively keep squeezing it. Try to get the heel to glute. Three, two, one, and slowly go back to your hand on your ankle, back to your passive stretch, and breathe. After that, I like to perform some knee cars just to try to save that work. It feels really good after performing that quadricep pals and rounds. So I'm gonna get the other side in the side lying position. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm gonna hold the ankle like I'm showing you here, right above uh, top of the ankle there. I'm gonna breathe and hold. Notice I'm trying to get my knee in line, my knees in line with each other, so I don't want that knee all the way out. I don't want my hip abducted. I want my hip adducted. I'm gonna hold, passively breathe here. Inhale for four, exhale for eight. Again, if this is too much, you can always strap on a towel onto your hand and foot. Holding here, inhaling for four, exhaling for eight. Just trying to relax that tissue that's being stretched should be able to hold this position without any pain. If there is pain, then you want to regress the time, the intensity, or the effort. One of those things. And slowly progress. So if you can't hold it for a minute this time, maybe you can hold it for 20 seconds. Our PALS contraction, again, we'll try to extend our knee. But we won't be able to because we're holding onto our foot. So we're going to build up the isometric contraction from 10 to 20 to 30% effort. Trying to extend that knee, but holding it steady all the way to 30% effort. From 30 to 60% effort, holding here. And then after our 60% effort, we're going to hold it up to our 100% effort. 10 seconds. Hold it. 5, 4, 3, 2, let go. Squeeze your fists. Try to squeeze that heel to glute. Flex that knee as much as you can. Keep going. Five, four, three, two. Keep squeezing two. And slowly go back to your passive hold. Again, I like to do some knee cars after that. Make sure you passively hold it for a couple seconds after. And it looks like I may have cramped up a little bit. Um, I'm going to go through those knee cars uh, a little bit to save my work. And so this was pals and rails for the hamstrings and for the quads uh, with a little bit of knee cars here uh, to save my work. This is uh, functional range conditioning. Thank you all for watching.